passed away and it went to the wayside. So they wanted me to help them bring that back. Somebody helped them bring that dream, you know, wake that dream back up and continue doing a lot of music and um, cross branding and, and, you know, helping the community. And, um, you know, shout out to my team. You know what I mean? Out here in Greater LA, if you realize, Frenchie, you watched us do it in the last 10 years, you have seen minimum gang violence in the hip hop community. You know what I mean? Mike, you remember, motherfuckers couldn't go to no clubs and it's a blood driven thing without the Crips showing up and vice versa. Yeah. But you know, we created a table <clears throat> of Bloods and Crips to where within this music industry that when it's a problem, it comes to the table and then we deal with it the right way it's supposed to be dealt with. It was at one point in time, awesome. Snoop and Game couldn't even get insurance to even go in buildings out here because wow. of the, 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 the violence, yeah. you know what I mean? So, you know, uh, Wacko out of West Side Park, Root Compton, Big U out the Rolling 60s, um, Bob out of Carver Park, um, Blue out of Long Beach, Insane, yeah. you know, Top Dog, TDE out of Bounty Hunters, you know, the list goes on and on. There's about 10 of us, Deco out of 8, 9 East Coast um, that really sit at this table and we, we help keep people Did safe. Did you know Tookie? No, nah, I didn't know Tuki personally, but definitely knew of Tuki. Tuki was in prison. You know, Tuki, the penitentiary system, fucking late 70s, or early 80s or some shit. Hmm. Do you feel like um, Nipsey's death brought those two groups together even more? Well, or how do you? <clears throat> no, nah, I mean, I, no, I know that in, I know the politics of that, right? Yeah. And I, and I got to set the record straight. I feel like Nipsey's death definitely. Um, started the conversation but what ignited that movement was a guy named big U. they called him draws from rolling 60s mm. and nipsey was from rolling 60s mm. and it really took his voice because it was him that summons everybody to show up on crenshaw and slauson mm. it just didn't happen because of nipsey's death because nipsey's death was internal mm. a rolling 60 killed the rolling 60. Oh. so it took <clears throat> big U. and a lot of people don't know he has a company called developing options for the last 10 years He's been having contracts with the city to um, help um, control the gang violence. He's been having it down about 30, 40 percent in that Crenshaw area, which is some serious That's significant, numbers. right? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, uh, <clears throat> rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle. But his 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 death definitely ignited the conversation. But Big U's been promoting and pushing this for the last 10 years. Huh. So it really kind of like woke people up. Yeah. Because it was an internal thing. It's like, oh, Rolling 60 killed a Rolling 60. But Big U took it upon itself not to just shed the light on the Rolling 60, just say, oh, man, be, feel sorry for us. He said, you know what? Let's take my little homeboy, Death, a genocide that happened within our tribe. And you know what? Let's bring all of us together. Mm. And that's what was big about that. Yeah. <clears throat> I, 